Welcome to the 2020 end of summer egg drop. We're gonna be interviewing our egg drop contestants and then dropping an egg in a, some sort of protective container out of 17 and a half foot window to see whose egg survived. All right, these are our first egg drop contestants. Can you guys tell us what you did with your box there? Well, we, we took a tissue box, stuffed it, it with uh, tissues, well, actually, we took them out and crumpled them up and then put them back in, Put a egg, took out half of them, put an egg in, put the other half back in, and then we put, and then we put little padding on the bottom. Yeah, oh, excellent. Justin, that. Mary, what have you done? I have wrapped it with socks. I wrapped my eggs in socks, put it in a box, wrapped that in socks, put it in a box, and had a bunch of foam stuff in it and wrapped it in this, and I'm going to wrap it in this, so. Bubble wrap, maybe. All right, here's our third contestant. What have you been up to? Um, mostly not doing very well, but I threw the egg in a cup and then it, with some tissue. And then I put like, and then wrapped the tissue, cup in tissue and then threw it in this bubble wrap thing and then threw some bubble in there and then threw it in this box. And now I'm making a gliding contraption. A gliding contraption. So we have cushioning no gliding. Mine is kind of like Titus's. Inside, I put um, the, I put salt on the edges, and then. I'm sorry. Did you say salt? Salt. Salt. Oh, okay. Salt, and then. Need some more packaging. I put a couple bit, a little bit of. Well, actually, I decided not against the tissue, and, and then I put a sock with the egg in it and tissue in it. And then ah. put tissue on the bottom and a glider contraption. This is by far the most paraglide. compact. We'll see how the shoe works. Personal contribution that involves uh, an egg that will float briefly in this little paper water boat when it's set down into a jug of water and dropped so that the water takes all the pressure and it doesn't get. Of course, Gloria. Well, um, I didn't get much notice that this uh, project was <laughs> happening and I just kind of walked home to it. So I have a empty a baking powder container which I have inflated a small Ziploc sack and placed on the bottom and taped the egg to that sack and I'm going to place another sack on the top and two fuzzy Christmas socks. See how things go. Done. This is our video drop height. Down onto the door boards there. Should be about 17 and a half feet. Okay, we got Thomas and Joey here. Oh, what do we see? A little bit of yolk here. It looks like the uh, the 17 feet six inches was a little bit more than the Kleenex could handle. Where's the egg? I don't see the egg yet. <laughs> oh, we lost one. Okay, this is Mary's. Did a little bit of a bounce and roll there. All right, no! we've made it through the layers of foam and box and socks. And inside the last box oh. is a sock. <laughs> Unbroken. Did they all have one? This is Tom.
sinuses and that glider really made it come down slowly. So I'm telling you, there's a chance. Unbroken! <laughs> well, this parachute didn't appear to slow it down as much, but we'll see how the socks did. Close that way! Wow, it's right on top. I guess the parachute's real job was just to keep it right side up. Gotta get the tissue out. Ouch. Whole leg! you look at that? You the... used a boiled egg, you cheater! Hey, hey the yes. egg pretty much Jesus. stayed no, together. No, but you used a boiled egg! No! Well, no, maybe. Yes. And glorious... Broken egg. Another interesting fact about the stability of eggs is if you take a okay. egg and don't put your fingertips into it, just try to squeeze straight and explode the egg, it takes an incredible amount of force. <laughs> I see you without my fingers. It's crazy to believe he's squeezing that egg as hard as he can, and if you can't get some sort of a crack in it. See, if I don't get my fingers, then. All right, do what you were doing before. Do what I'm doing, do it, do it with my. No way to crack an egg! <laughs> no, that's with my fingers, no I can't do it. No way to crack an egg!